Good morning, everyone. Bethany here, your clean eating coach. Okay, next one we'll look at is the fat section. Okay, again, fats have been demonized. Fats are necessary. You need fat in your body. Okay, but there's certain kinds of fat that are better for you than others. So on here, um, you'll see different kinds. The one I want to focus on is trans fat. Trans fat are, are bad for you, very bad. Make sure your items say zero trans fat, okay? Um, saturated fat, you want to limit those. Really in general, you, you need fats, but you need to be careful what kinds of fats you're eating. For example, uh, avocados have fat in them. So you, you shouldn't eat like five avocados in a day, but I usually have about half an avocado a day. It's pretty high fat, I don't know the number right now, but like that's a healthy fat. Uh, extra virgin olive oil is a healthy fat, but there are some fats that are not as good for you. All right, uh, number four, we will look at carbohydrates, this bottom section here, okay? Um, carbohydrates, we all call them carbs. Um, carbohydrates are what, once they're in your body, they're translated into sugar, okay? Um, so, Breads have high carbohydrates, pastas, um, desserts, because there's lots of sugar in them, and flour, things like that. High carbohydrates lead to high sugar in your body. So uh, one thing to notice in here is that this one says dietary fiber. So fiber helps break down the carbohydrates in your body so that they do not become sugar. So if you're, you wanna look for products that have higher fiber content, because that will actually mitigate the high carbohydrates. So like in this, uh, it says there are 37 grams of carbs and there are five grams of fiber. So one quick math problem to do here, um, if you subtract the fiber, grams of fiber, from the total carbohydrates, you'll know how many carbs you're actually ingesting. So this one, <clears throat> 37 minus five is 32. So that's good. If there was higher fiber, that carbohydrate number would be even lower. Okay, and know that sugar is considered part of the total carbohydrates number. Okay, the other part to focus on here is uh, sugar versus added sugar. This is a big one. Um, sugar refers to natural sugar. So if you have fruit, uh, any items that have sugar naturally inside them, vegetables have fruit. I'm sorry, vegetables have sugar. Uh, fruits have sugar. Even milk has some natural sugar, okay? Natural sugar is fine, but even still, you should be careful with it. Added sugar means that within the product, they added maybe honey, high fructose corn syrup, glucose, fructose, a whole variety of other types of sugar to add in and make it even um, more delicious, more sugary, okay? So you really wanna watch out for items that have added sugar. I try to buy items that have zero added sugar or at a minimum like a few grams if possible. Now in this one, as you can see, nine grams of added sugar. So we kind of cheated on this one. This is a really yummy pumpkin granola cereal and it's definitely higher sugar than I generally try to have in our life. So there you go, you know, imperfect, um, but we're aiming for healthier every day. Um, and then the last, last two parts, you have protein content. Protein is the fuel for your body. It helps build your muscles. It's good for your energy. You need it. Look for protein in all the items you get. You'll even find protein in your, your dessert sometimes. So that's great. Um, and then down here are the necessary nutrients that you need every day. Uh, vitamin C, vitamin A, calcium, iron. So just look to see, you know, do your items have some of those necessary nutrients? If they don't, um, you know, sometimes it's, it is what it is, right? Um, but, you know, those are what your body needs to be healthy. If your items don't have any of these vitamins in them, you might want to reconsider why you're eating them. Again, if you have a high calorie number, let's say, but you have zero positive nutrients down here, that's not a good trade-off. Your body's getting a lot of extra energy that's translated into fat and sugar, but you're not getting the stuff your body really needs to be healthy. So keep that in mind.